recall all the important topics which were there in the examination yes kindly update in the chat box beta any let us start yes dr siddharth very good evening beta everyone is audio video fine kindly update in the chat box very good evening everyone can we start with the session so the motive of this session is to recall all the important topics so the first let us start from the ear segment autology so mcq was on autosclerosis yes can you recall the choices or can you recall the mcq everyone audio video fine yes dr rudra well very good evening can you recall let us start with the first mcq on autosclerosis what the students were telling the examiner have given you some notch karhat notch notch at 2000 heard and examiner was asking the diagnosis yes i will upload the video with all the mcqs with all the choices very shortly after this session clear so let us recall all the important topics yes dr samar 2000 hertz karhat notch it was given 2000 hertz notch was given the examiner was asking only the diagnosis or examiner have given some statement which he was asking the true or false statement yes every student thanks for writing in the chat box so it was autosclerosis. The first MCQ was dedicated to autosclerosis diagnosis only. Yes, Dr. Rudra, can you update in the chat box? The examiner was asking you the diagnosis. Hmm? No, it was not statement based MCQ. It was directly one liner on the diagnosis of autosclerosis. Yes. Any student who find difficulty in this question of autosclerosis where they have given you the loss at 2000 hertz, Karhat notch. Image C, there was an image of, there was an audiogram, pure tone audiogram given and they have asked you the diagnosis. Click kindly update all the important points, important topics. It was image based MCQ. That's fine. So, beta autosclerosis, very important topic, even for the upcoming examination, it is one of the important topic. So, examiner will give you the Karhat notch or he will give you a typical history of pregnant female with hearing loss, which aggravate during the pregnancy. So, all these diagnoses going in the favor of autosclerosis. Even if you remember, in the classroom, we have learned all the important keywords on autosclerosis, Karhat notch, bone conduction, loss at 2000 hertz, then if one was stepidotomy better than stepidectomy, one was short sign and drug of choices, sodium fluoride, these were the important topic. So let us enter into the next uh, MCQ. This is very half an hour session where we are discussing with the topics bit. I will be coming with all the MCQs shortly with video discussion. So the second MCQ, the students are telling there was a foul smelling crust was given, very important topic. And if you remember, in the classroom, we have discussed merciful anosmia, yes patient sitting in a PVR, enjoying movie, all other suffering, foul smelling crust. So second MCQ was dedicated on foul smelling crust. But can you confirm in the chat box, the examiner have given you some image or it was only history of foul smelling crust and patient was not having the smell and diagnosis was going in the favor of atrophic rhinitis. Yes, some students were telling that there was image where they have given you foul smelling crust. Can you help me in Completing the choices. Yes, anyone? All you students listening to me, we are discussing with this session of FMG examination all the important recall topics. So first topic was autosclerosis. Second topic, atrophic rhinitis. So second was atrophic rhinitis, foul smelling crust. Most common symptom is nasal obstruction. Patient have a typical finding of merciful anosmia. Merciful anosmia. Patient may ask you, the examiner may ask you the drug of choice because it is associated with Clapsilla. 
we prefer streptomycin or tetracycline we have to clean the nasal cavity we have to clean the nasal cavity with the alkaline solution which one sodium bicarbonate bibodate sodium chloride patient not responding we will inject teflon in the lateral wall to close the nostril in the past they used to do young's operation modified young's these are the important 10 keywords related with atrophic rhinitis so it was image based mcq image was given merciful anosmia did they mention the word merciful anosmia or there was a history of merciful anosmia given in the mcq yeah. nice dr samar khan thanks for giving me the third mcq the third mcq was on yes third mcq they have given you a choice of adenoid very important topic and they ask you type of voice so it was yes image of adenoid was given and examiner was asking you rhinolia closa rhinolia aparta if you open the workbook we have clearly mentioned the causes of rhinolia closa rhinolia aparta and if you remember in the classroom i highlight this is a expected mcq so adenoid any obstruction any obstruction in the nose will lead to hyponasality nasal component will be reduced so third mcq dedicated to adenoid rhinolia closa answer will be rhinolia closa if they give you any palate insufficiency like palate perforation like cleft palate will be going for rhinolia aparta i hope till now all the three mcqs discussed you every student attempted right with a rhinolia closa it, answer must be rhinolia closa adenoid clear the fourth MCQ was on, as I have discussed with my students, the angiofibroma. Yes, can you recollect the choices of angiofibroma? The fourth MCQ, they have asked you the diagnosis or they gave you some statement regarding angiofibroma. So let us discuss with the MCQ of angiofibroma. Can you dis can you recall the choices? After discussing with the students, I feel that ENT segment, ENT paper was on the easy side. Bleeding, yes, Veda. Dr. Ahmed, I will be coming to your question of serous rhinitis media in next few minutes. First, let us crack with the angiofibroma. Angiofibroma MCQ. Yes, what was the history? Can you recollect? It was diagnosis of angiofibroma as for they have given you some statements related with angiofibroma. They ask why it bleed. Okay, the question was why the angiofibroma patient have recurrent apistaxis. They have asked you the cause behind bleeding. One of the students is writing a 50 year old man. 50 year old, no, they may not have mentioned 50 year. If it is 50 year old beta, then we will not go in the favor of angiofibroma. A rule of the game, angiofibroma severe apistaxis in young boy young boy if they have mentioned the word no 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 if if they have mentioned the age of the patient 50 year but please kindly confirm dr ali is saying that the age of the patient was 50 year if age is 50 year then i will not go with the diagnosis of angiofibroma not at all bleed on touch yes this state this history was there but can you confirm can you write in the chat box the age of the patient of this MCQ was 50 year old. Why bleed? Why it is a tumor of blood vessels? Beta. It is tumor of blood vessel. Therefore, the severe apistaxis, recurrent apistaxis is one of the frequent. One option, it lack capsule. One option I'm taking all until unless we are not having all the four options, we cannot comment. It lack capsule. The first statement was there. Age was given, age 50 year, so beta, rare, rare, angiofibroma, commonly seen in young, angiofibroma beta, it's commonly in young patients, young patient, young male, it is testosterone dependent tumor, so will not go with the diagnosis of angiofibroma, elderly patient 100%, so diagnosis ruled out beta, angiofibroma will not go with the elderly patients, now what, the, what was the diagnosis, let us keep this question in query mark, Can you recollect the choices of this question, Bida? 
If it is 50 year old, we will not go with the diagnosis of angiofibroma. One option was tumor outgrown the blood supply, outgrown the blood supply. Let me discuss with this question with <coughs> all my damn students, then I will be going with the right, I will comment on the right choice. Now, the students are divided into groups. One of the students is saying, one group is saying a patient was 22 year old patient, 22 year old patient, Holman Miller sign, then we'll be definitely going with the angiofibroma. If there are two MCQs, one was on the young patient and second MCQ, 50 year old male complaining of severe apostaxis and why the bleeding was there, it can be the, the possibility that two different questions were there. One option the exam, uh, student is giving me the option was tumor vessel lack contractibility lack. So better let us. I'm writing all these choices. Let me discuss this question. When 50 year old patient was nasopharyngeal carcinoma is a different question now. It means one question was on angiofibroma. One MCQ was on angiofibroma. Second MCQ, 50 year old patient, nasopharyngeal carcinoma. Nasopharyngeal carcinoma. Okay, I got this point. The tumor, one question was with radiology, with radiology image, complaining of excessive bleeding. Okay, the tumor. Let us discuss this question later on, but I but I'm getting from all the student check k one mcq was given on angiofibroma one was on nasopharyngeal carcinoma nasopharyngeal carcinoma clear done clear so just give me one minute let me refresh one second Yes, better. So one MCQ was on angiofibroma. One MCQ was on angiofibroma. Second question dedicated to nasopharyngeal carcinoma. Holman Miller sign given. No second thought will make the diagnosis of angiofibroma better. Holman Miller sign. No second thought. Diagnosis will be angiofibroma. Clear? Done. Let us discuss with the the fourth MCQ till now we have discussed one is Carhart notch, one is your adenoid, one was angiofibroma, nasopharyngeal carcinoma. Can we discuss with the next MCQ of most common hallmark feature of laryngomalacia? Yes, one MCQ was on this topic of most common laryngomalacia. Can you tell me which were the options in laryngomalacia beta? The question number four on laryngomalacia. Dr. Mehta, very good evening. Can you tell me the options related with laryngomalacia? I will be coming on the meniers beta. I will be coming on the MCQ of meniers. Treatment of laryngomalacia, wait and watch, reassurance to the parents. If they have asked you the treatment of laryngomalacia, that is your reassurance to the par parents. Improve on supine position, not at all. It improve on prone position. Okay. One option was improve on supine position. That is a false statement. That is a false statement. But let us discuss one by one. Please don't. Yes, but I will be coming on that MCQ of skull image given. Just wait. Let, let me crack this one. Laryngomalacia first, Peter. Options was most common cause of stridor in newborn. Absolutely true. Absolutely true. But in a newborn. Always remember, most common in a newborn. If the word children is mentioned, that will be not the right choice. No, it is most common in a newborn. Most common in supine false statement. Most common in newborn is a true statement. 
मोस्ट कॉमन एक्सपिरेटरी स्टैड नॉट एट टॉल यू टेल मी बेटा इफ इट इज लेरिंग मलेशिया इफ इट इज सुपरा ग्लॉटिस इट विल बी इंस्पिरेटरी स्टैड इंस्पिरेटरी स्टैड इट विल नॉट बी एक्सपिरेटरी स्टैड इट विल बी इंस्पिरेटरी स्टैड all the students who are joining now we are discussing with all the important topics beta i will be coming with all the choices all the try like, correct answer of each mcq shortly we are just having a discussion on the topics if newborn it is a true statement just remember this concept laryngeal malaria is the most common congenital anomaly in a newborn so if they have mentioned the newborn it is a true statement supine position false statement expiratory dyspnea false statement clear <clears throat> and what was the fourth option on this mcq of laryngeal malaria any student supine mein karne se relief hota hai is a false statement beta patient is comfortable in prone position and the dyspnea aggravate with crying aggravate on feeding clear option you one then is a true statement is a true statement is a most common congenital anomaly in a new mom is a true statement done can you recollect the fourth choice the first is supine or prone second is most common congenital anomaly in a newborn one is expiratory dyspnea most common cause of expiratory dyspnea can you tell me about the treatment okay the fourth option was regarding the treatment regarding the treatment so what is the treatment treatment is wait and watch sometimes the examiner give the choice tracheostomy is treatment of choice or the examiner give you supraglottoplasty or epiglottoplasty is a treatment of choice that is a false statement that is a false statement i got this question now the four options were one was supine or prone position if patient examiner have given you patient improve on a supine position false statement expiratory dyspnea false statement if they give you any surgical intervention that is a false statement most common congenital anomaly in a newborn that is true statement so the this question of laryngomalacia crack coming on the next one menias disease so what the next mcq was on menias disease the examiner have given you some graph like this what is this graph can you tell me recollect low frequency hearing loss low frequency hearing loss low frequency hearing loss clear so rising cup if the examiner have given you this type of cup can you can you comment in the chat box beta the same graph was there they have given you some rising cup low frequency hearing loss will go in the favor of menias disease discuss in the classroom beta i have assured na aman mcq on autoscus is one on the menias and we have made a nice table comparing autoscus is menias and acoustic neuroma so the mcq of menias was straight forward beta can you confirm in the chat box it was low frequency hearing loss rising curve was given to you a typical history was given and diagnosis they have asked you that was menias clear and then so it was straight forward Atro atrophic rhinitis mcq discussed with mcq discussed menias angiofibroma and esophageal carcinoma one mcq was there let us start with the next segment yes <clears throat> yes doctor so makan thanks a lot for writing surgery was given the fourth option in the mcq of laryngo malaysia that is a false statement because laryngo malaysia it is wait and watch 90% of the cases improve by 2 weeks and most of the cases by 2 year we have discussed in the classroom now never make a diagnosis beyond 2 years why because most of the patient respond clear coming to the next one one mcq was on nodule they have given you something history of vocal abuse i think teacher was mentioned in the mcq and they have given you some swelling image it was a image based mcq the direct answer was vocal nodule the next mcq vocal nodule clear so next question can you can you recollect the choices in this mcq beta because some students were saying ki mcq was on rinkis edema so can you uh, rinkis edema was in the option or this was a different mcq they have given you something on vocal nodule and rinkis edema or only options were there can you? yes it was image based mcq yes it was image based mcq everyone kindly update in the chat box beta it was image based mcq rinkis edema was a different question or rinkis edema was in the option can you confirm this
yeah it was in the option so better let us use this platform to differentiate if they have given you some pathology some abnormality at the junction of anterior one third posterior two third on both the vocal cord is not due if this type of image if examiner have given you some image where there is a pathology only on one vocal cord unilateral unilateral so i will be going in the favor of vocal polyp vocal polyp clear and if they have given you a image or history in which the patient is having polypoidal swelling on both the vocal cord what we are discussing in the classroom data you remember polypoid degeneration other name of ring is edema can you tell me the fourth choice can you tell me the fourth choice one was ring is edema was in the option one was vocal nodule one was vocal polyp answer it was bilateral it history of teaching was there in mcq teachers not due both the vocal cord both the vocal cord that's answer will be not due can you tell me the fourth option if any of the student recollect fourth option in that mcq was clear even we have updated in the telegram group beta you people can write the remaining options remaining mcqs coming to the next one after discussing this atrophic ranitis coming uh, after discussing this nodule mcq can you recollect the mcq on serous otitis media serous otitis media they have given you some history of ear discharge can you help me in completing this mcq now can you help in completing this mcq beta this is only the recoiled session of the topics beta we will be coming with the whole discussion of the mcq with all the choices with the right answer i am just taking a feedback of all the important topics can you tell me what was the history in serous otitis media with ear discharge they have asked you the diagnosis or they have given you some image and they have asked you some statements yes any student who can help me in recollecting the question of serous otitis media diabetic patient if the diabetic patient is mentioned in the mcq of ear will be going in the favor of malignant otitis externa beta if examiner have given you some diabetic patient with ear discharge was a malignant otitis externa in the option it was like nasopharyngeal carcinoma mcq okay can you tell me can you tell me in the chat box okay malignant otitis externa was there history was diabetic patient that confirm now you can can you assure beta okay malignant otitis externa was in the option malignant otitis externa if examiner have given you malignant otitis externa it will be the right answer in diabetic patient external auditory canal finding was given i'm waiting for this beta did they mention the malignant otitis externa in the option can you update in the chat box necrotizing otitis externa was there necrotizing otitis externa will be the best choice beta if in this mcq it will not be serous otitis media those students who were saying the answer was serous otitis media not at all ear discharge yes i got the question now ear discharge diabetic patient it will be necrotizing otitis externa malignant otitis externa clear they have asked the diagnosis dr ahmed this will be the right answer it will be necrotizing otitis externa because fmg people always they ask you the mcq on this topic of malignant otitis externa it will be necrotizing otitis externa will be the right choice clear then one mcq was on pre auricular sinus yes yes can you update me the mcq what was image based mcq or they have asked you something different on pre auricular sinus pre auricular sinus coming to the next one pre auricular sinus what was the mcq on pre auricular sinus beta it was image based or they have asked you some treatment option of pre auricular sinus or they have asked you some other statement regarding pre auricular sinus
it was image yes Better waiting for your response in the chat box. Preauricular sinus, they have asked you the treatment, they have asked you the diagnosis. Okay, it was on the amyrological defect. It is because of incomplete fusion of the hillocks. Incomplete fusion of the hillocks, preauricular sinus. Basal cell carcinoma option was in which MCQ beta? Failure of fusion of the arches, absolutely. Helox from the first and second brachial arch. So this will be the right choice. Failure of the fusion of the arches will be the best choice in this MCQ. Basal cell carcinoma option was there beta. Can you confirm, can you tell me basal cell carcinoma was in which MCQ? Car basal cell carcinoma option was in which MCQ beta? Better be fast, better our anesthesia faculty waiting for you for the next session. Can you tell me? Yes. Basal cell carcinoma was in which MCQ? So let us recollect all the important points. I will be coming with this session of all the MCQ discussion. Again, I'm just recalling all the important topics. We have discussed MCQ on autosclerosis. Car heart notch was there. They have given you a one rising curve diagnosis of meniers. Till now, what we have discussed. I'm just recollecting all the MCQs. Vocal nodule was there. Vocal nodule. Vocal nodule. Then they have asked you something on angiofibroma. Something on angiofibroma and nasopharyngeal carcinoma. One MCQ was on atrophic rhinitis. One is preauricular sinus, preauricular sinus. One was on necrotizing otitis externa, where most of the students were saying it was serous rhinitis media. No. And if one MCQ on image based MCQ, basal cell carcinoma, my favorite question rodent ulcer invade, invading the skin. Yes. So these were the topics discussed. Yes, step is image and they have dry from. Okay, that's great. I will add one more MCQ in this segment. They have given you a image of step is and they ask you from which brachial arch. What we have discussed, malleus incus from the first brachial arch as for step is as for second brachial arch. But what was the exception? If you remember, foot plate, the medial surface of the foot plate, it can come from the optic capsule. So if they have asked you some development of step is, even now, apart from these MCQs, there may be two or three more topics, two or three more MCQs, which we'll discuss later on. Definitely, I will be uploading a video of all the topics, all the MCQ with all the choices with discussion shortly. Clear? So, treatment. Dr. Ahmed, beta, can you tell me treatment of which topic? Beta? Treatment of which topic? You are discussed, you are, you are telling me this treatment was asked in, in contest of which MCQ? Beta, Dr. Chandan, angiofibroma cause bleeding until unless I can't recollect all the four options, I will not be able to comment on the right choice. So just give me a couple of hours. I will be coming with a discussion of those MCQs. This session is only to recollect all the important topics. Clear? Right. So all these ones, thanks a lot for coming on this platform. Now anesthesia faculty will be discussing all the important topics. Any MCQ left in the discussion, please update me in the telegram group or update me on the Insta. Clear? Thanks a lot and best wishes. And what is the target beta? Again, our mission is to test 200 paper. And I'm confident all my students who have attended classroom learning, we have attended the concise notes, who have revised the notes multiple times, they will come with flying colors. Best wishes for the results. And this session is for discussing all the important topics. Best wishes beta.